you would think that when somebody comes into the police station and makes a false rape charge, and the police are like, get out of here with this crap, we're not even going to make an official charge because we know you're lying, that they would assume that this person was a liar. Would not believe them. So with that in mind, let's get busy with this video today. It's an email I wrote to my lawyer just now. The judges forgot something on the 6th. They forgot to mention the scratch on my face she gave me. I find it very absurd that a woman can just paint a picture, paint a scenario, and the police even knew that she was lying about the rape. She came over to my house, logged into my router, and hacked her own account to try to blame me for it. Again, I was acquitted of these charges also. This woman stalked me for 13 months, would never leave me alone, and kept harassing me on a daily basis. Despite all this, the attorney general inside the courtroom wanted to have an argument with me, and he mentioned that she said that the relationship had problems in the first month, even though that this was not true. The problems occurred in the seventh month. But he had to argue back and forth with me, trying to convince me and gaslight me that it happened in the first month. <laughs> I go on saying, I know what happened. I was there. I know a lot better than the Attorney General what happened. And just because somebody writes it down on a piece of paper does not make it instantly truth. They built the concept for the case on the testimony of a woman who burnt herself alive in my shower, was talking to demons, told me she was talking to demons, said she was demonically possessed, and attacked me under the influence of these so-called demons. She was screaming out, make the voices in my head stop. She drew pictures saying, um, help me, help me, help me. And she had diaries full of help me, help me, help me. I even have a videotape of her behavior. She even flipped out about a teddy bear in my bedroom. She screamed and was in total fear because she believed that this teddy bear was looking at her. This is who the judges decide to build their case on. They had two stories. They could have picked my side, which is filled with evidence. Or they could have picked her side, which is just female. And that's the reason why they picked it. I actually had to hear from a judge. Just because I was acquitted of all charges does not mean I didn't do the crime. Do the courts really have such little trust in their law and other judges' decisions? That was the email I wrote. So the power of a female, despite doing all these things, having all these mental conditions, despite acting like a complete Looney Tune psychopath, running off here, calling me a rapist, and then me having to spend six months being investigated by the police, and then just for it all to never existed in the first place, there's no punishment for her. She's getting away with everything, and there's just no punishment there. <laughs> the courts looked at all my charges, and they said seven of them I could not do anything on, but two of them they can. They're going to go after her for two of them. And come the 3rd of February, I'll finally have the answers, and we'll finally know what her punishment is. She will not be escaping this. There's two charges now on her that have actually stuck. But I feel like if the police did a better job when listening to my story when they took the testimony, we could have had her on probably 50 different charges. She's getting away with a lot, but she will not get away altogether. This is Wardone's Fire, talking about my case. See you all later. Bye.